So, we got some news about the next chapter of X-Men. Um, the era of Krakoa is ending. We are getting the next chapter in the Krakoa, of, of not of the post-Krakoa era. And yeah, we've got uh, several titles, but right now um, there are th going to be three titles that are going to be coming out starting in July. And those are Uncanny X-Men, Adjectiveless X-Men, and Exceptional X-Men. And I gotta say, Marvel decided to bring out the big guns with uh, who is going to be writing them. And we do know that there will be other titles, and we'll talk about that later. But, like, yeah. So, what we know so far is that, let's start with Uncanny X-Men, written by Gail Simone, which is going to have um, Jubilee, Wolverine, uh, Rogue and Gambit, and Nightcrawler on the team. I think Iceman as well. I'm re I think that's really cool. Um, it's nice to see Jubilee getting uh, getting more. I will also say real quick, isn't it funny that like all the X Men titles, like they're the font for the comic titles, are literally the '90s uh, imagery. It's like, oh, and it's not just them. Like the other later titles, uh, they're going to be revealing like X Factor and a few others. It's all in the font of like the 90s to er early 2000s era it's almost like they're trying to do um pull off some synergy with the upcoming 90 97 cartoon yeah but get it like gail i'm really happy she's getting a major x-men book she has written x-men before but mainly it was deadpool i think she also did some x-force for a hot minute i could be wrong but no i think that's really cool that gail's writing that and i really want to see like it's um it's really cool that like um, this and like the it, like it's a bunch of characters that would make sense for Gale to write. It actually, since it's almost like almost six characters, maybe it's going to be like a superhero version of Secret Six, which she did phenomenal. That's uh, I think one of my uh, my favorite title from Gail Simone. It's definitely one of my f uh, favorite comics in general. Like Gail Simone's Secret Six, by far one of my favorite comics of all time. But I digress. So this book, this book right here, this that book is really cool. Then we have Jed motherfucking McKay uh, taking on more workload and taking on the main X-Men title with Scott leading a redeemed beast by the looks of it. Magic uh, Juggernaut is on the team. We also have Psylocke. And, uh, and uh, Storm is on the team too. Well, not Storm. Um... But yeah, Magneto's in the back. So it looks like Magneto, after his resurrection, is taking on a new level for his X-Men. And then finally we have Exceptional X-Men, which, which will be written by E.V. Wing, and focus more on Emma Frost. Which is cool. I, I uh, couldn't tell who those other X-Men were. I think one of them is Legion. Oh yeah, Kid Omega um, is on uh, Cyclops, is on Scott's team. So we have Exceptional X-Men, which is going to be written by E.V. Wing. So yeah, it's very clear that like Marvel is really out there pumping out and it's it's actually i gotta be real with you guys i never hated the krakoa era do i think it had some flaws yeah it did have some flawed comics here and there but on the up uh, uh, but on the other hand that shit was really awesome and it was a great it was basically because you don't understand like um that five-year period where krakoa was a thing it was basically like one big like the x-men are back at, because there was a long time where X-Men got pushed to the side a lot to make... I was there, you, you know, <laughs> I was there during the dark times when the Inhumans ran rampant and, you know, crushed the X-Men comics. I was there when they it, when the uh, when the X-Men were, like, being beaten down because Disney and their owner, like the runner of uh, the... the guy who was running Marvel at the time, Ike Perlmutter was really just mad at Fox. But the moment Disney got their hands on the comic, like got their hands back on, on got their hands on 20th Century Fox, they were like the X uh, Disney went like looked at the Inhumans and went, "Put them away." And Donnie Cates went, "I got gotcha, you." And fucking kill them all. <laughs> yep. I will never also forgive Marvel for X-Men versus Inhumans. I will never forgive that shitty event. But I, dig but I digress. I've said that like five times. But, yeah. So that's, I think that's, uh, so yeah. You'll forgive me if I like love the era of Krakoa because it was like, no, the X-Men get to hold the cards after how long they got beaten down and, you know, hunted. And they were still battling with problems, some of which were self-inflicted. But yeah, 
It was a really good... I really love that book. You know, I really love that era of Krakoa. And I know some people are like, oh, the Krakoa era ran on too long. It was stupid. Oh, shh. Yeah, do you want to go back to reading, like, only two, three X-Men titles um, that are just mid at best while there are, like, a ton... Uh, while we really focus on the Inhumans? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. So, yeah, I really like the Krakoa era. It sucks that it's gone. But I will say, I really am excited for this to see where they're going. Because now the X-Men are like... It looks like, from what we understand so far about this comic, is that the X-Men are basically like, Fuck y'all, we were trying to live in peace, but you're never going to give us that peace. And yes, right now they're at war with Orchis. And like, yeah, Orchis has the better weaponry. On paper, they're the better team. Let's get on the line, homeboy, and see how that really works out. Because the X-Men don't have the enemies. They have body counts. Look how many times that Magneto's died, or Sinister, or whoever. Um, or most of the human enemies they've had to fight. Which also, I really hope one day we get a... And not to say that this hasn't been done in a while, but like, I really hope we get some X-Men books that... And maybe this will be the time. And I especially feel like Jed McKay will be the one to write this. Simone or, J or McKay are going to write this. Um, I feel like someone's going to go, like, is look at a human and go, hey, uh, and one of the mutants are going to go like, hey, um, wasn't it like not too long ago when people were getting segregated and also there was like slavery and also in Europe there was a guy who committed mass genocide of a, of a single person and there are still genocides because they're still human. The, and like I want some like one of the mutants to be and maybe this has been done I've just never read that comic there's a lot of comics out there but like I really want someone it would probably be Magneto who'd be like if you, we didn't exist you'd still be killing each other like you'd be like Orchis would probably find a way to blame I don't know their problems on the Inhumans or the Avengers or like just a group of humans they didn't like because that's all you are is self-destructive that's all you want to do is destroy everything so, that's how I, um, that's how I kind I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get. But as for other X-Men books we are getting soon, we don't have a creative team for them yet, but Wolverine, obviously, uh, Storm's getting an ongoing, yeah. I really hope that it's Alley Wing writing Storm, because I really loved his work, his characterization of Storm in, uh, X-Men Red. So I really hope Alley Wing's writing the Storm book. Then we have Fiend X, which is going to probably be the Jean Grey solo title with her with Phoenix. Uh, we also have X-Factor and X-Force. Curious to see who's going to be on that lineup. And another title, new title called NYX. Um, I feel like that was a title back in the early 2000s that was just kind of... Because I feel like that's... I feel like I've heard of that title before. Like I said, X-Factor's coming back. Um, we have a lot... Like, it's really cool. And again, they're going by those, like, 90s title fonts. But yeah, so all in all, I'm really excited for this new era of X-Men. I'm excited to see where it goes. And you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this new era of X-Men? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Comment below, let me know. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.